today uh, on nft stars i have with me jogesh lulla of uh, cornerstone he is the coo and uh, they've launched uh, recently an e sports division they handle a lot of sports person and celebrities um notably of course virat kohli but to start off with uh, you guys tell us about you know your plans for uh, nfts the the entire nft thing which you which you have planned okay um wow so nft <laughs> that that that's a very broad question so i'm going to try and uh, try and answer it in as many pieces as i can sure. so we are looking at uh, you know when you say nft at the moment uh, I, i i don't want to focus so much on nfts per se but more the web3 space because that's what we're looking at mm. on a more broader uh, broader spectrum um while nfts have been the big buzzword recently uh it is something that has started picking up in india and now you are you have seen the likes of your fan craze and the others also coming in trying to follow the top shots model from the us right uh this is this is something that we are looking at right now and to be honest with you we're looking to simply license the rights of our players to be able to endorse these platforms at the moment uh however in our long term vision you know we're very clear that whatever we do in the web3 space per se be it nfts be it gaming be it the metaverse there has to be a long term vision and utility value for every nft that's dropped now you know in the current situation you're looking at video clips maybe of the uh, icc rights which is what fan craze has got that you know you may be able to utilize will have some utility rights or not but uh, you know for us while we are cornerstone and you did mention a lot about sport we also have a joint venture with dharma productions right so if i could go in and look at potentially creating nfts of movies as well with some of dharma's movies for instance making that nft the utility value sort of being a membership to a exclusive dharma club where you know you could then go ahead and get access to premieres to meet and greets with some of the celebrities maybe even a chance to be in the movie that would be more that would be something that i would see of more value to someone as opposed to just a collectible yeah. uh, that would be just one one part of the nft vision the other one would be maybe even potentially now looking at the real long term is creating avatars of let's say a virat kohli that yeah. avatar itself makes you part of a virat kohli club which can then that avatar can then be integrated into a metaverse where you know you can interact with others as this avatar that same avatar can then go into a game maybe into a, free, a game like free fire and you play as a virat kohli okay go into the, Yeah, then you go to the next level where you know Virat has his own clothing line. So it's something we're working on right now is creating wearables in the metaverse for Rom. So these will be all NFTs you would purchase, right? So you purchase the NFT, you can make your avatar wear the NFT. Uh, obviously, for that, this is still a ways away. So until that actually happens, let's give a physical, um, physical piece of the actual clothing to the user as well, right? So all of these will be limited edition pieces. creating a little more value and a little more excitement around it of course the collectible piece is is very valuable at the moment especially with artists because you are collecting digital art mm-hmm. um, and that is also growing but for us the long we are looking at the long term vision you know this is just the start lot more to come in this space i would say okay i mean that's uh, the uh, free fire thing which you mentioned is quite uh, quite interesting my neighbor who's in class 10 he would be quite interested because he's very obsessed with these games moving on to you know the whole esports uh, world to a person who's very new to this entire sphere how would you sort of define or explain esports within 30 seconds to any competitive gaming it's like any other sport right you compete with others to actually yeah. to play and win at whatever sport you're playing esports is the same thing you're competing on a video game in this case right we have free fire we have bgmi fifa whatever else it may be uh, it, that's essentially it and it requires a lot of skill so you know i i, I know your next question is probably going to be like but your know, parents are like don't don't sit on the couch and play video games all day but you know when it comes down to it think about what someone in the it industry does they're sitting on the on the desk all day for 8 hours a day but the gamers they play for 8 hours a day that's their job they do it for a living right very important while you after you do that just like if you were in an it job 
get out there get some exercise make sure you're moving around and doing the other things that are important for your health as well right so long story short i guess that that's my 2 minute version of it not 30 seconds fair enough fair enough and see you know you you began uh, uh, cornerstone with regards to um, handling these different people their social media profiles etc so how did you decide to get into the esports angle so esports has been growing very rapidly around the globe uh, for us in india i think it's the uh, the lockdown that actually made esports very large i should say gaming very large in the country mm-hmm. and people start noticing more of what's happening globally however it is a very big sport i mean you get scholarships to universities through esports as well in america uh, china has recognized esports athletes as, as real athletes and uh, it's a space that we have been monitoring for a while it's been very small in india but it's suddenly started growing very rapidly so that's why we decided now was the time to jump in and quite frankly for us like i said esports athletes are athletes just like a cricketer is an athlete right so we already do everything that's required for an athlete be it in cricket be it in football badminton whatever it may be we just have to take the same i should say the best practices from these into the esports space and then help them in how, however we can in their careers right be it the athlete be it the teams be it creating ips whatever else it comes down to it's actually just replicating our experience in one sphere on one space and moving it over to another um you know and it it seemed like a no brainer for us since we're already doing it okay okay and um, lastly what are i mean are there any particular challenges with the uh, which video game uh, streamers or creators or players are facing at the moment uh Yeah so if you actually step back for a moment you know while i did say it was competitive gameplay at the end of the day a sport will sell when it has enough of an audience hmm. it, that, that's where the money is eventually coming when you have your broadcast now when it comes to esports be the streamers or casters whatever else it may be end of the day they are creating content they need to create exciting content and that is what is actually selling Yes there are people who are amazing at gameplay and you do want to watch them play to understand how they do certain things but that is a very niche market for this sport or the industry to grow it's all eventually going to come down to content and if you monitor what's happened in the US it started at where we were where we are today where streaming platforms came into the country you know there's professional esports happening a lot of tournaments being held but today if you look at what's happening there it's all content creation it's entertainment so and that's where we are going to end up in another 3 or 4 years right so that's why amazon acquired twitch you look at twitch today i think 85% of the content on there is just entertainment 15% is actual game play and uh, because of this the streamers and content creators have to be have a very difficult task because not only are they playing the game but they have to learn how to entertain people now if i'm a streamer and i am sitting there and i've got a right now i'm a gamer let's say i'm a gamer who's got a hardcore following in valorant tomorrow i go out and do something else in let's say bgmi because that that's the next big thing that's happening it's a very tough task for me to first of all hang on to my Val- valorant following because those guys are there just to see that while i'm acquiring more bgmi i might be losing some valorant talent and how do i make this content still exciting enough to get people who don't care about gaming as much but they want to see the entertainment right so it's always a very tough task it's like in anything to do in content how do you create the right content for people which i think is extremely difficult for them to do and to be totally honest with you one of the reasons we also got into this space is none of them have good management to be able to actually sell their content right you could be there streaming all the time but how do you monetize this eventually you're doing this as a job it's your profession you need to monetize it so that that was one gap we found and that's where we are trying to come in get the non endemic brands interested in these people so you know if you look at kfc we've done a few deals with them they are looking at esports as a space normally it would always be your intels and your mouse pads yeah yeah all the other endemic brands but our focus over the last 6 months has been educating non endemic brands on how to get into this space and help 
monet uh, help the teams and the players with monetization right right i mean what you said about uh, the the following of the people and uh, creating an audience and entertaining i think as of right now these content creators and comedians like Kari Manati and Tanmay Bhatt are doing a very good job because they've got a big okay. following. But I get what what you're saying about the others. Uh, regarding the others, of course, uh, the the whole entertainment angle is something we still have to learn. But thanks a lot, Jogesh, for uh, for talking to us and uh, all the best for the future and uh, take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your time.